So the Fast and Furious 9 trailer has just dropped online, I will leave a link down below in the description if you want to go watch the trailer, but this is going to be my review of the trailer and I'm someone who personally I like the Fast and Furious movies but they're not really like you know necessarily my favourite type of movies in the world, they're you know the typical action flick that you get in Hollywood and you know there's nothing wrong with them, they make money, people enjoy them and it's got its own fans so you know what do I think? of this trailer I will get into it in a second but before I get into my review if you guys do enjoy this video and you know you want to check out more movie news more trailer reviews and stuff like that remember to leave a like rating on the video and subscribe to the channel it would really help me out and yeah check out some of the other content I've been doing but without further ado let's get into the review of the Fast and Furious 9 trailer so the Fast and Furious 9 trailer opens up basically showing Dom and Letty kind of, you know, with their son and, you know, I, I'm guessing this kind of opening shows kind of they're going for the emotional route with these three characters and, you know, the, the potential that one of them may be lost in this film or something may happen that breaks them apart and they do kind of reveal something to do with that which uh, I personally believe they shouldn't have revealed in the trailer just because of the context of it but we will get to that in a second but overall I like this trailer I think it's a very action-packed trailer it does what it needs to do and you know that's where we come on to the point I was just raising the reveals and the first reveal was that John Cena is essentially Dom's brother and they are pit against each other uh, in this film and I just found personally although you know this is fan service it's very much you know giving something to the fans in in the sense of you know we, we're introducing another uh, member of the family but this time he's a villain and, and we've seen that before in the Fast and Furious movies with obviously Jason Statham uh, and you know his and Luke Shaw his brother uh, in the Fast and Furious films um, but you know they're doing that again but this time with Dom and his brother and I personally thought even though I really like the reveal I think it's an interesting concept I personally thought this is just my opinion I think that they shouldn't have revealed this in the trailer and there's also other things they shouldn't have revealed in this trailer but I know that these movies appeal to a certain type of audience a certain type of fan that you know enjoys these films and I just personally found that the context at which you know this was revealed to me personally just felt like this happens a third or half of the way through the film that's just the kind of vibe I got from the trailer and I don't think they should have revealed that but regardless of that reveal, and there is another reveal I'm going to talk about in the minute, and you can probably suspect what that is. Before I get to that, there are some really good kind of introductions of characters that we know uh, from the series, like Cypher, and how he, she's working with uh, John Cena's character uh, to try and take uh, Dom down. It's very much like a battle between you know the two forces, which they've kind of stressed on in previous movies. And you know, I, I found that you know the, the kind of balance of all these support. In characters in this trailer was really interesting. I like John Cena's character, uh, what they're trying to show. I like Cypher's character. I like all the supporting uh, characters uh, on Vin Diesel's side or, you know, or Dom's side of the fence. So I like the way they've put these characters in the trailer. I just personally think that John Cena's character and another character, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, shouldn't have really been revealed in there. But in terms of the action, in terms of the spectacle that we got in the trailer, like, you know, Rock rocket fuel cars now and flying cars on on wires and and cars that can essentially drive over collapsing bridges it's your typical fast and furious uh, action scenes and you know defy the unimaginable essentially and we kind of get that again in this trailer and you know it's expected for a fast and furious movie and for the most part i really enjoyed it i thought that kind of stuff works for this saga it works for this franchise and uh, you know the action we got looks pretty good and from the behind the scenes thing they showed on the uh, concert which is where they dropped the trailer tonight uh, they showed a kind of a behind the scenes featurette and it showed how they were doing some of the action scenes and i must admit even though you know i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of these movies i must admit some of the action sequences they do are very practical you know even though there's stuff that they can't do practically and they have to use a lot of cgi for there is a lot of scenes in there that they do do for real with you know cars and practical effects effects and stunts and i 
you know, I appreciate that for the most part. But the second and final big reveal in this trailer is when we see Han pop up at the end. And I know there was all this speculation that he was coming back, that he would be in the film and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, you can understand why they're doing this and I have no problem with them bringing him back. But again, like the John Cena reveal, uh, you know, being Dom's brother, bringing him back in the trailer, I just found would make no difference for the marketing campaign of this film. I mean, this movie's going to make money regardless of showing Han in the trailer. It's going to make money. It's a Fast and Furious movie with all the familiar faces. It's going to make money. So I think showing Han in the trailer, if anything, they could have left for the film. They could have just, get, you know, done that as a surprise in the film or had at the end of this trailer, you know, someone say welcome back and then the camera cuts. You didn't have to show him, you know, it would get, you know, just regular p people who watch this movie to go in and give them something to, you know, be surprised at. So that's my opinion on on this trailer. I personally really enjoyed it. I found the action sequences to be great. I'm not the biggest fan, as I say, of these movies. They're, they're good movies for the most part, but they're not, you know, necessarily my cup of tea. I'm more into, you know, the science fiction and uh, psychological films and stuff like that. But that's just my opinion. You know, everyone has their own type of film and there's people who are going to love this trailer and criticize me for saying what I said. But I just found personally that the reveals that were in this trailer, didn't necessarily need to be in there. They could have been left as, you know, surprises for the audience when, you know, people go and watch the film in the cinema. But that's my review of the Fast and Furious trailer. It looks interesting. I'll definitely go and see it. I mean, you know, I've gone and seen all the Fast and Furious movies regardless of, you know, how, you know, they're not my favourite type of movie in the world. But it looks enjoyable. It looks like a fun ride and, you know, some of the action was great and it was of the spectacle that we can kind of expect from a Fast and Furious movie. So let me know down below what you think of this trailer. Did you think it was an amazing trailer? Did you, were you kind of like me in terms of, you liked the trailer for what it was, uh, but you also thought that, you know, the reveals were unnecessary? Let me know down below what you think and be sure to, you know, discuss in the comment section. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to see all the other trailer reviews and stuff and uh, movie news that I do when they drop, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Hope Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always make some noise.